We told you about an exciting conversation and an exciting competition mm -hmm. on the show today. CIA, steering your finances forward, is powered by Toyota Financial Services, an authorized FSP and a registered credit provider. T's and C's apply. So welcome to CIA Conversations, which will be steering your finances forward, a conversation that helps all of us with good financial habits that will steer our finances in the right direction. Today, our topic focuses on budgeting. This is a fundamental starting point if we are to be in control of our money. And at the end of this conversation, we will be asking you a question based on our CIA conversation for today and answering that question correctly could make you 3,000 rand richer. To help us with our today's CIA conversation, we have Vanda Rasuela, who is a financial guru. Good morning. Good morning, Vanda. How are you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me today. I'm excited to be here. Yeah, thank you so much for joining us. Now, under the current financial situation, we find ourselves, that we find ourselves in, you know, you're talking about the likes of high fuel costs, rising inflation, interest rate hikes. Yeah. Is it still possible to budget? I mean, how does one even balance all of that? Yes, yes, uh, you're right. Times are tough, but we still need to budget. And this is because... A budget is a key aspect of our financial lives, right? So even in difficult times such as this, we still need to budget. In fact, budgeting is one of the ways that can actually help us to stay afloat. Um, it can help us to adjust our spending and also give us flexibility within our budget, right? So if you're looking into making a certain adjustment on your financial life, this could be your savings, paying off of debt or simply simply cutting cutting down your spending. A good starting point is always in creating a budget. This is if you do not have one. But if you already have one, what you can do is to revisit your budget and make the adjustment. So to answer your question, what most of us need to be doing during these tough economic times, we need to be reviewing our budget, see what we can cut down within our budget and also we need to identify things which are an absolute necessity that needs to remain in our budget to give an example there are things like your bond or your rent repayments or you also have your school fees or your food these are absolute necessity and may need to stay within your budget but we also have things like luxurious items which we refer to as ones it could be like your sports club subscription eating out or entertainment these are the areas in which you need to review and see what you can cut down. So what is important when it comes to budgeting ultimately is also seeing that you still maintain a portion of it towards your savings, right? So you do not spend all your income, but keep a certain portion towards your savings. Mm. Now, you know, I think with everything that you have explained to us, it really makes a whole lot of sense. Why is it important to write the budget down? I mean, some of us may say that I budget, but we, we think we are budgeting because we're doing it in our head. We're doing the calculations in our head. Yes. Is it important to sit down, have a paper, or maybe open a laptop, but just make sure that something is written down? Yes, yes, that is very, very important. So, so writing your budget down really helps you to allocate and calculate your expenses against your income accurately. Right. So you do this accurately in a systematic and factual way. And I would like to encourage everyone to actually budget before they receive their income or receive their money, because this then will allow you to spend according to your budgeting guideline. And one of the most important thing about writing your budget is that it allows you to see the numbers. Right. You get to do the tracking better and see your monthly spending. And after spending at the end of each week, you can check your receipts and see what you've spent on and if whether or not you have been sticking to your budget. Yeah. When we speak of automating savings, what are we talking about? Like, how does it work? I've picked it up a lot. Yes. So, so, so this is one of the key things that helps in, in budgeting. So what this means is that you put your savings in a system that helps you to manage the habit of savings that automatically. So you arrange with your bank and for them to do a debit order or a step or a stop order. This is for your funds to be transferred from your transactional account into your savings or an investment account. 
So the benefit of this is before you even start spending, your savings is then done for you and you don't have to remember to do it. So then it takes away the burden of deciding what to save on a monthly basis. Okay. And in the next few weeks, we're going to be discussing credit and vehicle finance. So for those that still need to apply for vehicle finance, like how is it important to budget? So it's, it's, it's a good question. Um, and because before you even start applying for your vehicle finances, doing your budgeting consistently each month is very important because this then will help you to understand your expenses that already exist. Like what do you spend on your clothes? What do you spend on your food? What do you spend on your on your uh, rent or bond? So it will help you to work out how much is left after you have met your needs and your regular expenses that you have each month and how much you still have that you can allocate then to the repayment of the car in which you're planning on buying, right? So budgeting is very, very important in this aspect because then you realize that once you get a car, it is not only the car repayment loan that you will have to pay or that you will have to cater for, right? You have other expenses such as your fuel, your car insurances, you know, and toll and washing your car as well. So even before you start purchasing, budgeting then will help you to work out your affordability in terms of how much are you willing to actually uh, contribute towards this car that you're planning on buying. So if you need to make an adjustment and cut down some current expenses to make space for your car, then this will, you will guide you throughout that process. And thank you so much, John. I appreciate you coming through and talking to us about this. That was Zwanda Rasuela, who is a financial guru. Well, there you have it. You heard the conversation. Now it's time for us to ask you that question based on what you heard. And answering this question could win you 3,000 rand. And we will announce the winner next week on Monday before asking another question. Now, this will be happening every Monday for four weeks. So make sure you pay attention. Here's your question. Share any tips about budgeting that you've learned from this interview and how you think you will apply it in your own day-to-day -day financial management. Can we repeat the question, please? Share any tips about budgeting that you've learned from this interview and how you think you will apply it in your own day-to-day -day financial management. Are you ready for that 3,000 rands? Well, it's ready for you. Send all your submissions on our WhatsApp line, 79 899 6226, drop us a voice note using this hashtag TSC. That's TSC. So you say hashtag TSC. That hashtag should accompany the voice note that you're going to be sending us.